mga ate at mga kuya, welcome back to Kuya Puto's channel. So, like I said, lately I've been coming up with all of these videos about credit, hoping that I can raise awareness or at least give a lot of our new kabayans or any kabayans out there who's not too familiar on how it works in Tusa Canada. So, recently nakakuha po ako ng comment. And it kind of struck me in a good way or a bad way, I'm not really sure. I thought it would help a lot of our kabayans out there to better understand exactly why it's so important dito sa Canada, ang credit score. Pag-usapan natin ngayon. So mga ate at mga kuya, hindi po ako nagbibiro when I say that Canada is a credit-based society. And napakahirap po talagang gumalaw, napakahirap kumilos, lalo na if you wanna angat sa buhay, if you don't take care of your credit, because that's where everything starts. So, yung pong credit ninyo, that's what lenders, banks use to measure your ability to service debt. So, ano gagawin ninyo, guys, kung kailangan nyo ng umutang? Para sa kotse, para sa bahay, or para kung ano that requires like a bank or a lender. Pupunta ba kayo sa kanila? Tapos sasabihin ninyo, Pare, sige na, pautangin mo na ako. Babait naman ako eh. <laughs> That's not how it works. And recently po, I received a comment from one of our subscribers or maybe one of our viewers. I'm not sure if uh, he's a subscriber. And it kind of showed me how... Really, some people don't seem to understand completely the importance ng credit dito sa North America. So, you know what? Without further ado, let me read you the comment. So, sabi po nung uh, viewer, parang hindi ako sang ayon ng sistema dito sa Canada or America kapag bumili ng sasakyan or bahay ay nagahanap ka ng credit score. Yung taong walang credit card ay sa tingin ko nga pa ang magandang magbayad kasi hindi mahilig sa utang yan at mahilig yan mag-ipon at mag-budget. nag lang sila sa credit score parang tinuturuan nila ang tao na mangutang instead na mag-save. Sa tingin ko pwede namang gamitin ang checking account ng debit card mo pangbayad instead of credit card. Tapos yung sobrang pera sa budget mo ay ipasok mo agad sa another account mo, yung savings account mo. Sa tingin ko, ito ay safe pero walang iisipin ng pecha para magbayad or magbayad ng interest. Walang choice, kukuha ka pa rin ng credit card dahil sa stupid na system na ito. So, Okay, before I begin, guys, this is not to humiliate, but instead to educate and to raise awareness para sa mga kabayan natin out there na maybe bago sa Canada or just generally not uh, too familiar with how credit and credit scores work. So, meron pong katotohanan yung mga sinasabi po ni Kuya. And I'm not gonna deny the fact na tama po yung sabi niya. Kung tutuusin, I would probably trust somebody that has no credit and is used to paying by cash versus somebody who has credit. You know, there's some merit in that. Problema po yun, siguro gagana yun sa mga malilit na utang. Siguro kung kunyari ka lang yun ng $100, $200, $300, pumunta kayo sa kaibigan nyo, sa pinsan nyo, sa kapatid ninyo, sa nanay ninyo, sa kuya ninyo, pare, pautang naman ng $100, $200, na I guess, you know, that system would work. But unfortunately po, sa buhay ng tao, lalo na dito sa North America, sometimes, you're gonna need more than $100, $200, $300, $400 loan. Lalo na po, if you want to angat sa buhay. So, let's use the, the bahay for example. So, isipin nyo guys, mga bahay dito sa Canada ngayon, napakamahal. 
gasgas na gasgas na po yan sa YouTube. You know, that topic has been discussed over and over and over to death. You know, it's anywhere between a decent house dito sa Ontario, for example, 800000 to over a million dollars. So, if you're not going to depend on credit and gusto nyo magkabahay and your source of income is your work, like most people, like, you know, over 90% of people, their source of income is their work. Ano gagawin ninyo? Mag-iipong kayo ng ilang taon bago kayo makabuno ng $800,000 to a million dollars para makabili kayo ng bahay ng cash. <laughs> Hindi po pwede. Isipin nyo, the average person in Ontario, the average working person, makes under $60,000 a year before taxes. Paano kayo makakapag-ipon ng $800,000 to over a million dollars to afford to buy a house here? Wala kayong choice kundi mangutang, di ba? Sa banko. That's called a mortgage. So, ano gagawin ninyo if yung mindset ninyo katulad na itong uh, commenter natin? Pupunta ba kayo sa banko? Tapos sasabihin ninyo, Mr. Banko, pautang naman ng 800000 I promise you, babayaran kita. Okay, tignan nyo yung, uh, yung checking account ko. You know, laging may pera. You know, tignan nyo yung uh, mga bank accounts ko. Laging merong balance eh. Hindi naging negative. Maniwala ka sa akin. Mabait na tao ko. Pabayaran ko yung 800,000 na utang na yan. Ma- <laughs> mali! Mali, mali. Because guys, the way it works to people out there that are not familiar, you build your credit score. It's a rating system, di ba? And this is what the banks use, lenders also, if you don't qualify in a bank, to determine your capacity, your ability, and your consistency on how you can service debt. So basically, this is your proof to them to show that you are a responsible person that has all the abilities and all the behaviors and characteristics that they require in order for them to trust you with an $800,000 loan so you could buy that house. Yes, that's the ugly truth. And you know what, guys? The same thing applies to cars. Dahil malaking loan din po yun. Sipin nyo, let's use the car for example. Okay? Paano? Kung gusto nyo bumili ng kotse. Lalo na yung mga Pinoy. Tayo mga Pinoy, may hilig tayo sa kotse. Lahat, na, lahat ng kotse natin, gusto natin brand new, di ba? That's the mentality that was given to us growing up in Pinas. Kailangan brand new. Okay? And you know what? Buying a brand new car, that's a different topic. But you know, let's use that for example in this video. So, gusto nyo bumili ng bagong kotse, but you don't believe in credit scores. Magkano bagong kotse dito? 50000 on average, $50,000 on average or more? Ano gagawin ninyo? Pupunta kayo sa Honda, pumunta kayo sa Toyota. Mr. Honda, gusto kong bilhin tong, uh, tong Honda Pilot na to. Gusto kong bilhin tong Honda Accord na to. Alam ko, $50,000. Wala akong credit, pero you know what? Lagi naman ako may pera sa banko eh. And you can trust me. You know, you can talk to my pare. <laughs> You can talk to my best friend. You can talk to my teacher. Sasabihin sa inyo, I am a responsible person. You know, they can vouch for me. So, utang naman. <laughs> what do you think Mr. Honda is going to say? Pagtatawanan ka. Baka nga ipapulis ka pa eh. You know? Unfortunately, guys, that's not how it works. Because you have to show them proof. Kung tutuusin nga, isipin nyo, guys. Kung mangutang kayo sa parents ninyo, Mangutang kayo sa kamag-anak ninyo. Mangutang kayo sa kakilala ninyo, sa kaibigan ninyo. Kilala kayo nung taong yun. Tapos magdadalawang isip pa yung minsan bago kayo bigyan ng utang. Paano pa if you're a complete stranger going to a dealership? Paano pa if you're a complete stranger going to a bank asking for a loan for a car? Something really, really big? Something really, really expensive? Or even worse, something like a house? which is like several hundreds of thousands of dollars or even in the millions and you have zero proof to show them with regards to your ability to pay this debt. This is the reason why, guys, credit scores
scores are so important dito sa Canada. That's why you should take care of your credit. Nurture it. Guard it. Because it is so important kung gusto nyo talagang umangat sa buhay. Kung aasa lang kayo sa sweldo ninyo dito, mahirap umangat. Kailangan talagang umutang to make money. That's the only way. A lot of people here make money on real estate. A lot of people here make money on business. And how do you think business and real estate run? They run on credit. Yes, guys, they run on credit. That's going to be a, a, a topic for, for, for a different day. And I'm going to make a video about that. But, yes, yung pong sinasabi ni Kuya, like I said, some of the things I do agree with. But at the same time, maybe in a different country, comment down below kung meron kayong alam na natirahan ninyo na bansa where credit doesn't really you know, exist or it's not that important. You can just get loans left, right, and center. Comment down below kung meron ganun. Okay? But as far as I know, living here in Canada, North America, for the past 40 years, it's the most effective way to measure somebody's ability, capability, and capacity to service utang, okay, is through their credit score. So, yeah, I mean, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. And I hope if uh, Kuya ends up watching this uh, this rebuttal to his comment, sana naman po hindi kayo uh, masaktan. Sana naman po uh, hindi kayo magalit. You know, this is just me trying to explain why it's important and why it's necessary in a country such as Canada and the U.S., North America. So, sana naman po tuwa kayo kahit konti dito sa video na to. And if you have not subscribed, dahil napansin ko po, daming nanonood ng videos natin, but at least 70% of the viewers are not subscribed. So, if you like this video and this type of content, subscribe naman kayo sa channel ni Kuya Puto. I'll see you on the next one, guys. This is Kuya Puto wishing you good night, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Stay hungry, stay humble. Keep your hustle strong. See you in the next video, guys. Good night.